No, I'm not even, not really even up to making a video today, but let's talk about it, let's talk about it, let's see what we got here. Can science and miracles coexist? Look at a miracle. A miracle, what is a miracle? A miracle, an extraordinary event taken as a sign of the power of God. Something very rare, unusual, or wonderful. Okay, well. In light of what he said, when I when I actually looked at it later, it's like it's self-explanatory to me. I, I'm not understanding the atheist. I'm not understanding the atheist. You know, to me, it's self-explanatory. If if a being did exist that was had similar powers as is pre uh, preached by Christians as Christ they had control over the smallest subatomic particles the smallest subatomic particles undoubtedly yes Miracles and science can coexist, or or miracles can exist. And the idea that he would have to sabotage anything, uh, uh, any kind of experiment, that kind of defeats the purpose of being able to control. You, you follow what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm looking at it like, you know, it seems like atheists, some atheists, and I'm not even saying particularly uh, big boy, like to poke at anything of a religious nature and try to cast it down as being some... Uh, flawed way of thinking or a flawed way of viewing things. Okay, what if he didn't? You know, on the flip side, okay, what if he did not? And still there was the evidence there that you needed for your uh, scientific method to be legitimate. Then it was a miracle. It, then it is a miracle. There's no way in the world uh, two, a few loaves and a few fish can feed 5,000. That is a miracle. You know? There, there's no way in the world a group of people, some estimate close to a million people went through the Red Sea. the Dead Sea, whatever you want to call it, the Reed Sea, I mean, I meant to say, there's no way, not, not the Reed as in the Reed, as in the water, you know what I'm talking about, there's no way, huh, what I have found that is common, among man and this is probably what this whole thing is about and I'm gonna go into some other things later let me see if I got any other notes I wanted to highlight first the smallest subatomic particle that he's gonna lie about interfering with a scientific experiment <laughs> it, that, that shows me the the awareness of, of the 
God of the Bible that you have. Honestly. If, if you had a better understanding of the character he portrays in the Bible, you understand why that is a laughing matter. But anyway, uh, I'm just rambling on. Actually, what I'm going to say is, no one wants to be wrong. If you get nothing else from this video, I want you to remember this as I proceed further. That no one wants to be wrong. No one wants to... Most people do not willingly accept the fact that they are wrong. But... That's something we have to come to. If, if, if you are on a journey for truth, not like Pat Condell, where you, 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 you close off, I ain't gonna say that, because I, I think Pat was just trying to make a point. But if a person was seriously to the point where they were just like, no matter what you say, no matter what comes, I just will not believe, then, then that person, there's no help for that person. If and that, that person is not seeking truth, you know? If you are willing to seek truth, you must be open for all arguments, okay? For all arguments that is within reason, you must be open. That's it. All right. I'm going to have something better. Y'all will next week. And now I'm just chilling. It's a nice day out show y'all where I'm at, where I'm at, y'all can check it out, remember that, just here with George, just gonna finish eating, we've been here in a million years, turn into something else, or, never mind.